Seriously, I hate these things. Not only are they creepy as hell, but they get used as security systems and things. And it's just a good bet to run right up and just punch them. Except for that time that they planned for me to do that and there was a mine underneath it. Or like those four times. What? Were those cars just waiting up there? I mean, I know it's just a placement error or something, but imagine these cars up on this freeway for you know, 200 years, and then... So there's the first one. Oh no, it's a teleport issue. See, I teleported in and I displaced a bunch of air, and the displaced air knocked the things off the bridge. And I'm guessing that's the second one, because you don't normally find a car there. Or is it up here? No, that was definitely it. You know, I wonder if this happens every time. Like, does it reset or what? There they go. Second time. And a third time. So, like, every time I... Wow, that one's getting a lot of air this time. Extra bouncy car. Nice parking job. Someone didn't get his Christmas bonus. Or, like, his pre-apocalypse bonus. He's got little glasses and a newspaper. He's just sitting there like, do you mind? Bodies everywhere, take that. And these guys are, oh, it's another teddy. Who keeps placing these teddy bears? Oh, he's got little sunglasses you can take, and a little hat, and a little cigar, just like his daddy. Well, someone had an apocalypse unsurvival plan. Or maybe he just really liked toast. Okay, dog meat, show the viewers your cute little getup. Oh, no, don't drink. Show them the, show them the getup. I'm supposed to zoom in on the... Hey boy. There you go. Show him the getup. You can find something for me. Fetch enemies. See if there's any good stuff nearby, boy. What's he gonna do? Run off and like bite him and drag him back? Well, of course you didn't find anything. You stuck your nose underwater. Is that a box? You know, it's the little things sometimes in games that really get me. I mean, like, like I like them. They get me. And this one is just this box, just rolling down the river, floating down the river. I didn't push that box in. No one I know pushed that box in. It's just kind of chilling. Oh, th no, don't. Oh. Did I blow up the box? Did I, did I blow up the box? Okay, no, there it is. See, that's what happens when your melee key, your grenade key, and your hold breath key are all the same thing. You throw a grenade at a box... You throw a grenade at dog meat, at point blank range, while you're trying to punch something. It just never ends well. And now I'm wondering if I hadn't hit that box with a grenade, if it would have gone into that hole. See, there's already a box in that hole. Are there any other boxes? Is there like an infinite number of boxes being dropped one at a time at the end of this river? So there's always a box in the river? These are important things to know here. Oh my god, Hover Rat. I saw you in Vats and I thought it was just like you were leaping at me or something, but no, there's like death from above sneaking up on you, Rat, here. Rest in peace, General. 
Yes, rest in peace, General. But before we go on, I'd like to point out there's a guy walled up behind the bricks here, and he was surrounded by a bunch of bottles of Amontillado. Poe, anyone? About something that happened 40 years ago. If this still opens from here. Can I open the door, or do I have to wait for you? Is this like a whole Call of Duty thing, or...? Let's not close that door. That was... That was more walking than I like to do to open a... What the hell? How long have you been down here? Because there's only, only two ways down here in the last, like, decade. Through that door that we just opened, and can't be opened from the outside, or past, like, the death robot. Brahman, what are you doing in there? That's not your house. That's your house, outside, with the rest of us, dying in the radioactive lightning. Like the, the merchants over here, whose shops I faced the wrong way. Okay, now if there are no other interruptions, I would like to go to the fort, please. God damn it! Okay. That didn't look nuclear, so it's not a suicider. No one's shooting at me, so it's probably not bandits. Moonshiner. Seriously. Okay. Let this be a lesson to you, kids. Do not make amateur moonshine in your shack in the post-apocalypse. Or, like, in your shack anywhere. For that matter, don't make amateur meth either. It never goes well. Boston, this is Western Bell. We have no power and we're in very rough seas. Do you copy? What? Hey, we Bugs. Need to Where the hell is everyone? Nice. This has been a pre recorded. Boston, There's gotta be something Western about Bell. this area or maybe this broadcast because I didn't find any of these until I started listening to this broadcast or maybe there's like an alien spaceship around here oh god how did you get out worst petting zoo ever run dog meat run he's broken the fourth wall Nice. See, this is what I get for dripping radioactive iodine in my eyes. You know, if I'd known this terminal was here before, that would have saved me an awful lot of trouble and an awful lot of stem packs. I could have snuck in the back, I could have overridden the targeting, I could have made them shoot each other. Oh, who am I kidding? I still would have shot everything. Hello? Maybe just in case. Maybe just in case there are still a few of them out there. Five seconds. That would have been enough time to get out of the back. Yes, I will vacate the area after I finish looting. Valentine, it kind of weirds me out that you like it when I hack computers. There's just something a little dirty about that. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, so apparently even the destroyed ones can self-destruct. Awesome! I'm standing on a roof in a Fallout game. Fallout 1 didn't have roofs. Fallout 1 barely had second floors. Fallout 2 didn't have roofs, it had a few more second floors, but the, they were all, like, a second zone, second floor, so that doesn't really count. Did Fallout 3 have... I don't think you had things stacked on other things. Maybe you had catwalks, but I'm pretty sure you didn't have rooms at top rooms, and, like, Fallout, uh, New Vegas was... But, like, look at all these buildings, too. I'm in an actual city, rather than, like, what Fallout 3 called cities, which was terrible. Okay, I'm gonna celebrate being on a roof. 
and I'm going to see if I can jump from this roof to the next roof. I, I've had, I've had plans that have gone better. Mistakes were made. Fortunately, those mistakes did not involve failing to quick save. Okay, attempt number two. This time, I'm not going to pick the longest space I can. Oop. Yay, I've jumped from roof to roof! In a Fallout game! It's an accomplishment. It's absolutely an accomplishment. I didn't do it. You know, I haven't seen Valentine for a while.